Okay, in my Premiere sequence here, I have the outro part from my 3D text After Effects tutorial. And this is the section that has the glitch effect in that video. So I have a track down here by Epidemic Sound. And as you can see from the waveform, there's a gap in the audio here and then it starts back up. That's where the beat comes in. And before that, there's there's kind of this like reverse sound. And that's why I chose this section of the song for the glitch effect. And you'll also notice that there's not a lot of layers that make up the glitch effect. There's just a few adjustment layers and then some keyframing on the actual clips themselves. You used to have to use third-party plugins or After Effects to create some cool glitch effects. However, built into Premiere Pro nowadays, you have under the Video Effects tab within the Effects Control Panel, you have a section in here called Immersive Video. And in here, there's a whole bunch of different very cool and powerful effects such as Digital Glitch, Chromatic Aberration, and also VR Color Gradients. Those are the three we're using in this effect. So the Immersive Video folder inside the Effects Panel is really powerful and you should definitely take some time to test all these out to get a good idea. That's exactly what I did to come up with this result, so let's break down how I did it. Over here I have an exact copy, except I've moved over the adjustment layers to the right. So let's have a look at this section right here without the glitch effects, and I'll show you what it looks like with just the position keyframes and what they are doing. All right, so on the first clip, you'll notice that there are two keyframes at the beginning and two keyframes at the end. So if we go to the beginning, you'll see that the footage starts at 960 by 540, so it's perfectly squared up to the frame. And then by the time it gets to the second keyframe, it drops down and moves to the left a bit. So that's all that's doing there, just dropping and then moving to the left. The reason I'm doing this is to try to recreate that traditional film look where the film has been displaced and is just sitting a little off where it should be. And then if you do the same thing on the following clip by keyframing the position at the beginning and the end as well, it will help with the transition between the two clips. Beyond that, I did cut the footage right when the reverse sound starts in the song. And then I right clicked the clip, went to speed duration, reversed it so that it plays backwards, and then I also sped it up by about 800%. That gives it that really quick reverse feel and it works really well with the song. And then on the next clip, I did not reverse it, however, I did speed it up quite a bit. Now that you have an understanding of that, let's bring back our adjustment layers. And you'll see that there's an adjustment layer that completely covers this clip and another one that covers this clip and then two above that are slightly shifted. On this bottom clip, inside effect controls, I have the VR digital glitch applied, and then there's a bunch of keyframes. So at the beginning of the clip, I have the number set to relatively low, and that creates just a subtle glitch effect that doesn't really change too much of the frame, although you can see there's still a bit of stuff going on. And then by the end of the clip, you'll notice that the numbers have been increased by quite a bit, and it really heavily affects the look of this clip. And then on the next clip, We've done the exact same thing, only in reverse. So it starts off heavily affected, and then by the end, it's much less. The next clip is just a solid black color mat with the opacity set to 95%, and then underneath is a film particles overlay that I got from pixabay.com for free. And then I've added the VR chromatic aberrations and changed some of the settings. And you'll see if I turn it off, it doesn't really do all that much, but it adds a little bit of color highlights to certain parts of the frame. It also gives it a slight blur. And then for the top layer, let's turn it on, and you'll see that it overlaps a bit. So the reason I wanted to do this is so that it eases in to the effect before this bottom layer comes in. On this top layer, I have the digital glitch effect added again, and it also is keyframe, so by the end of it, it also is affected quite heavily. And then beyond that, like our particles overlay, I have the chromatic aberrations effect also applied. Because there's a lot of colors and variants in the footage, the chromatic aberrations effect is gonna do quite a lot. So as you can see, it's adding kind of like a red tint in certain areas, and this adds another level to the overall glitch effect look. On the next layer, as you've probably guessed, it's exactly the same. I have the digital glitch that changes over time with the keyframes, and then underneath I have the chromatic aberrations. But then on top of that, I also have the color gradients effect from here 
in the immersive video folder added to this adjustment layer. This is a really cool effect because it adds a really quick gradient overlay to your footage and I'll show you what that does. So there's some added color that again contributes to the overall look of the glitch effect. If we set it to 100% you'll see exactly what it's doing but I think that's a little too strong so I prefer 25%. I've also set the blending mode to screen as I find screen looks the best. Now because this song naturally has a reverse sound and then a pause and then it starts up again, this was a really perfect spot for this glitch effect, but chances are you won't have a song that fits it that well, so in that case you might have to build your own sound design with your own glitch sound effects. You can find them all over the internet, but for example Epidemic Sound has quite a few of different ones, these are just two I downloaded from their website. So by downloading glitch sound effects and adding it into your edit, it will help sell the effect even more because the audio is just as important as the visual. Alright, so that's it for this video. Subscribe and hit the bell to be notified when we upload new videos each week and we'll see you next time.